Hey guys, welcome back to the business of art. Today I'm going to talk to you about networking. You've probably heard like in show business and other industries that it's all about who you know. Now there is some truth to that. Of course, take it with a grain of salt. I unfortunately did not have any, um, you know, famous family members or a really rich uncle that owned an art gallery. <laughs> um, so I still made it on my own in that regard. You don't have to know someone rich or famous that gives you a career boost, okay? Of course it helps, and if you have that, feel free to utilize it, absolutely. However, when I say it's all about who you know, what I'm talking about is networking. You are not going to make it as an artist without meeting people without talking to people, without making friends, without making connections. And honestly, the more connections that you can make, the more you can put yourself out there, the way more chances of success you'll have. So what are some ways that you can do this? Of course, right now, a lot of us are at home. Um, but even in the future when people are watching this, their social media is probably the best place to start. Join groups that are relevant to your art form. If you're a photographer, join all the photography groups that you want. If you're a painter, join the painting groups. If you're a musician, join the music groups. Join these and start being an active participant. People will eventually notice. It might not be instant, but if you go around helping others and answering their questions um, and posting and stuff like that, they will notice. They'll be like, oh, you know, so-and-so always has the answer to this. So start doing that as much as you can. And that's something you can do just from home. And it's not just Facebook. You can get out there on LinkedIn. You can get out there on Instagram. A lot of platforms have groups these days. Stay away from any that are just toxic or not helpful to you. I personally stay away from Twitter. I think it's like a cesspool of just a hot mess, but that's for me. For other people, Twitter might really work. So whatever works for you, there's no right or wrong with that regard. Just put yourself out there as much as possible. Okay, next is actual networking events, which you can find a lot of those on social media sites like Facebook as well. Um, and you can look for entrepreneur meetups or artist meetups. There's another website too called meetup.com and I'm sure a bunch of similar websites, which if you guys know other ones, feel free to put them down in the comments for other people to check out. But I used to be on meetup.com all the time. I actually ran a group in San Diego, which was um, museum art museum and coffee lovers art meetup group, I think is what it was called. And we met up at a different coffee shop or museum every single week in San Diego. And it was awesome. I got to meet tons of new friends. Actually, a couple of my best friends now are from that random meetup group that I used to run before I even had a baby or, you know, it was like a bazillion years ago. So that's a great way to meet people. Go out to networking events. Um, another one is to go out to art shows and gallery openings. Once again, you can find a lot of this on Facebook, but there are also um, calendar. You can look in like your local newspaper calendars or follow your favorite artists that are in your area and see when they're having a show or a gallery opening. Follow the galleries in your area and check out their calendars. Go to those shows bring business cards and meet people, make friends, meet the gallery owner. I'm not saying be pushy. That is the one thing you need to make sure you're not doing. Don't walk up to the gallery owner and be like, hi, I'm jo Joe and I'm an artist and you should put my art in your gallery. You know, none of that. Walk up to the gallery owner and be like, wow, your gallery is amazing. I love this. I love how everything's displayed. You're doing such a good job and just strike up a normal conversation like a normal person. And very often they will then go, well, what do you do? And you'd be like, oh, actually I'm an artist too. You know, here's, here's my card so you can check out some of my work. That is 
pretty much an example of how I have any conversation related to my art. I don't ever start with, hey, I'm an artist, check me out. I just get to know the people and just talk and be interested in them, compliment them on things that, you know, you can tell they're doing a good job. That doesn't just apply to gallery owners, that also applies to other artists, other business owners, and just other people in general. Okay, so we have on social media, we have meetup and network groups, and then art shows and gallery openings. Those are three very, very good ways to network and meet people. The fourth is just in your everyday life. Start talking to people, get to know people, make friends. All of the people at my local coffee shop know that I'm an artist. They all follow me on YouTube. Um, I've They've bought things from me. I've given them, you know, art gifts and stuff like that. Like they all know. And some of them even tell their customers about me just because, just because they know because I've struck up conversations and made friends with them. And that's just in everyday life. So start getting used to doing that. Start getting used to really getting to know people, making friends and networking. This will make your art career go so much further that much faster and absolutely get business cards made if you don't have them yet hopefully this was helpful if you have any other ways that you want to share with everybody else to get yourself out there and network definitely put them down in the comments and i'll see y'all next time